You put the tape on of left tackle TJ Bass, current Dallas Cowboys offensive lineman. It's surprising to me why this guy wasn't drafted. He has great technique, a really nice punch, great footwork, and he only gave up one sack in college, which is pretty damn good if you ask me. Now, he is 6'4", and he probably projects as a guard as opposed to a tackle, but still, I'm surprised he wasn't drafted. I mean, the guy is a really, really good football player. Today, we're going to analyze his tape. I'm really fired up to do it. Let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, check this rep out. Bass is going to get into a vertical set, and then you're going to have a defensive line game here and watch him process and pick this up with the left guard. Really nice job being able to keep your eyes up, keeping your head on a swivel, not getting caught by the three technique defensive tackle as he goes into Bass first, and of course, the end kind of loops around. Nice job right there. Good hand placement, and that's a winning rep in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, check this rep out. Watch the footwork, watch the consistency, and watch the punch. It's just really, really nice here by Bass. Now, one of the things you got to consider with him playing left tackle versus left guard is in this instance here, he's going to get into a vertical set. And if he's a guard in the NFL, he isn't going to get into a vertical set the same way. He's more likely going to have to learn to punch faster, quicker, really get on top of the defensive lineman. So that is something he'll have to kind of adjust in his game. But I do like the fact that as he gets his hands on defensive linemen, he really tries to get those hands to the inside. And you can see this right here. Inside hands always win in my opinion, especially if you know how to do it correctly. And in this instance, he does a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, check this rep out. You got a double team block here with Bass in the left guard. And then Bass is going to process that up to this backside linebacker. He's going to do a really nice job being physical, moving number 60 out of there, getting up to the linebacker and picking him off as well. And you see the running back picks up a really nice amount of yards. But this is just a really nice power run. To me, this is exactly what I like to watch. Double team process it, get up to the next level. And of course, the interesting thing with this play is the Cowboys do this type of stuff all the time. Dallas Cowboys run a lot of power runs. They run a lot of man blocking, a lot of inside and outside zone. Although this season, it could be a little bit different based off of offensive coordinator not being the same, but it shouldn't make all that much of a difference. I think still you're going to get a lot of these type of plays where it'll be a guard or tackle blocking down and kind of processing it up to that next level. So really nice rep right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. In my opinion, TJ Bass's best ability is obviously his pass pro. It's very clear, very consistent, very nice punch. It doesn't get caught leaning all that much. You see it just over and over and over again as he gets out. Really nice base, footwork, nice punch, lands it right to the inside. This play is kind of interesting because that defensive end is going to use the right hand. He's going to punch down the left hand of Bass. But because Bass isn't off balance, he's able to get that hand right back. 215, he just readjusts himself and just basically shuts this guy down. I mean, to me, this is just a really nice ref right there. To be able to win, really shut that DN down. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. Check this ref out. You're going to get Bass, who's going to pull out in front. He does a pretty nice job. You're going to pick up eight yards on this play. A nice job getting out in space, taking on the linebacker. Ideally, I would have preferred if he was able to stick to that linebacker a little bit longer. Uh, sometimes this does happen where guys don't stick to a guy. Instead, they try really just crushing him the way he does here. Linebacker obviously does go back about four yards, but he stays up. And because of that, he's able to make the play. So Bass just has to do a little bit of a better job, but I do like the technique. You see him get out of his stance there. Good footwork, stays low as he kind of gets out there. It makes pretty nice contact with the linebacker course would have preferred if he's able to somehow hook this guy off this way so the running back could potentially kick that through there not a major deal still a gain of seven yards let's go ahead and get to the next rep now i do want to just throw a disclaimer out there really quickly as we're kind of watching bass's tape uh, this also kind of happened with justin herbert but one of the hard things to evaluate some of these organ players is because they want a lot of this type of offense right offense is just based around quick screens and quick throws and rpos and uh, read options and those type of things right it's not it's not as pro type of offense that some teams would like to watch so it's hard to really analyze some of these guys you know how do you analyze an offensive lineman on a quick throw to the right it's hard right so i do want to just kind of make that disclaimer that we are going through a bunch of games to try to pick out some of his good plays and we'll also get into some negative plays we'll get into that in just a second but let's go ahead and jump into this next rep here where you once again see that power of bass and i think that's very clear on tape very powerful 
I mean, look at that right there. I mean, look at that position, the technique. Everything about it is perfect. You know, when you make contact with a guy that's 340 pounds, as that defensive tackle right there is, for you to be able to get underneath him and basically bench press him backwards, I mean, that right there is freaking impressive as hell. That's exactly what I want to watch by Bass. He moves this defensive lineman. Now, this is obviously one of the big issues with some of these plays. The quarterback could technically hand this off, and the running back would cut that right behind Bass. Or, as he does, you can throw it to the left. Again, this is a big issue with this offense. Because Bass crushes the, this guy here, right? He really creates a pretty nice gap there. But, of course, because of the offense, the running back doesn't get the ball. And it's an incomplete pass, so... Bass may never get any type of credit for this play, but we don't care about that specifically. What we care about is watching the guy in certain situations, right? And of course, as we're watching tape, always do keep in the back of your mind, this guy's going to be a guard in the NFL, not a quarterback, right? So plays like this where he absolutely crushes a defensive tackle, where him and the left guard make really nice contact, and that defense tackle, I mean, look at this guy, look at him go absolutely flying out of there. That right there happens because of Bass and his ability to double team. He's very low. He aims for the hip, which is exactly what you want to see on these type of double teams. Keep in mind, this is going to translate more as he's a guard than if he was a tackle in the NFL, right? But again, nice double team gets up to the linebacker. It's a really nice rep. And I do want to state this. The reason why I'm saying he's going to be guard and not tackle is because some people may take these type of plays out of his tape and say, well, how good can he be if? He gets beat like this, right? Uh, first and foremost, this is a bad rep. But that's also a really, really good football player for UCLA. Has a chance to play in the NFL. Uh, he does beat Bass, right? But keep in mind, Bass is not going to be playing tackle. He will never be out on an island the way he is here. He does get turned around. Uh, he does do a pretty nice job being able to make ground back up. Uh, but again, you will see plays like this on the internet. So I do want to just state that he will be a guard in the NFL, not a tackle. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some more reps. One of my favorite things to do when I watch prospects is to watch non-conference games, specifically bowl games, because you see guys that have never played against the same type of competition. And here's an example. You got North Carolina playing Oregon. These two teams will never play outside of a bowl game, right? So it's different level of competition that maybe some of these guys are used to, different speed potentially depending on your opponent. And keep in mind, we did get an Oregon versus Georgia game. We can look into that a little bit later on. Uh, but check this rep out here. Really nice job by Bass to kind of understand the play. Uh, he makes good contact with number five, and he basically seals it off. Uh, that's a nice job. You know, a big part of this play working is for Bass to be able to get out there, get that arm on five, and really try to seal this playoff. Not let five get off the block and be like that backside pursuit. It's a pretty nice job right there. Really nice job right here by Bass. He's going to down block on number eight. A pretty solid job getting to eight. Sticking to the block, kind of moving him out of there. You see the running back ends up kicking this to the outside for a really, really nice game. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You got an interesting down block here. Uh, he has a seal, but he's not going to be able to get there. So he almost slingshots this. Uh, he doesn't do a full slingshot. I think he recognizes the guy's not going to make the play. Uh, he kind of just lets him go, but... It is interesting the way he kind of pulls him from the backside because not a lot of guys would do this. For him to do this, I can dig it. With the right hand, he's going to pull. The left hand, he's going to push. And that's enough to slow a guy now where he may not be able to make the play. So it's a pretty nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this rep out. You got TJ Bass going up against Nolan Smith, who's a very, very solid football player. Obviously, he went in the first round this past draft. A pretty nice job making good contact with him. Uh, you're going to see Smith give him a hezzy move, and at the same time as he gives him that hezzy move, he's going to jump back to the outside, and he's going to try chopping down the arms. It doesn't work, man. Bass is a really nice job readjusting those arms, getting them right back up to Smith. This is something that we've noticed on tape already. Uh, he's not leaning, so he doesn't get caught in a bad or awkward spot. He's able to just bring those hands right back up. He gets his hands right back on Smith, and he kind of stays in front of him. Uh, and, of course, the quarterback does get the ball out, so it's a pretty nice job right there. Check this rep out. He does a really, really nice job on this play, in my opinion. Uh, he's going to process this as number 96 comes around to him. And he's going to just anchor down. I mean, 96 is obviously much bigger than he is, and it may be number 98. Um, but he does a really nice job. You see him process it, pick it up. Hands land to the inside, which is absolutely fantastic. He anchors down. 
the D tackle jumps, and Bass basically shuts that down. I mean, to me, that's a really, really, really nice rep right there. Yeah, when I put the Georgia tape on of Bass, it is clear that this guy can hang with the big boys. Really nice job here processing and shutting down 78. To me, I think the Cowboys likely saw this game and they thought to themselves this guy can hang with Georgia. Keep in mind, Georgia's defensive line is obviously much better than the offensive line of Oregon. But for Bass to be able to do this right here, process, pick up, and hold his own against the guy who's going to be in the NFL, that's a really, really, really nice rep right there. Alrighty, guys, so one of the reasons why I like to watch tape and take notes is to watch plays like this right here and to understand that this guy actually has the ability to do this right here in his toolbox uh, and you guys may say what the hell did he do uh, some of you guys are going to say uh, you know, I don't see anything at all uh, besides him getting locked out by number 13 there uh, but what I see is as he gets locked out he's going to use the right arm to break number 13 having that lockout he's going to fork 13's arm upwards right there that's a note I'm taking down because this is an important concept for guys to understand and learn. Uh, when you're in a bad or vulnerable position, how do you counter? So to me, this is a really nice job that he's able to counter at the end of that play uh, because this will translate into the NFL. There's going to be a time when Jalen Carter or Aaron Donald or whoever that D tackle is is going to lock out on him. and There'll be a time where he has to break that contact like he does here. So it's a nice rep right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. You got another really, really nice rep once again. Very consistent footwork, very good hands, technique, everything is on point. These are the type of reps, again, that I love to watch right here. It's a really, really nice job right there. Final rep here, he's going to pass off the stunt with the guard. Once again, really, really nice job. Uh, you know, TJ Bass, to me, is one of those guys that I think he has that upside to be a good NFL football player, but he does have to develop. I don't think he's going to be ready to start day one. I think he's more of a practice squad year one, and then you would have to reevaluate where he is year two. I do think there's some upside. I do think guys that are tackles that convert to guards generally work out in the NFL as opposed to drafting guys or picking up UDFAs that are already guards in college, because I think it's much harder to play tackle, obviously, but we'll see what ends up happening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you guys are subscribed with all 22 film as well as other Cowboys related content. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.